What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle here on the channel. Today we're facing off against Lewis, otherwise known as Turbo Blaze. Uh, a good friend of mine, he's helped me a lot in the MPL. He's also an announcer linked to his channel and Twitter will be in the description down below. Definitely go check him out, he deserves a damn views. And I will be on his channel, I think, today? On the 3rd? Um, I know the video got cut and I feel bad, I might have to edit it and re-render it, I don't know. We'll see what to do, but I am appearing on uh, Turbo's channel today, so you guys know. I'm looking down here because I have my Diaz like, on my lap right here, because I don't have any fancy desk to put it on. Like My desk is kind of messy and it will look weird, so I'm just going to quickly give you guys a quick rundown. This is our UU game so with our UU team that we've been using now, featuring Mega Absol and... Uh, well, Mega Absol and Rose Rape. So let's quickly take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Let me just take a quick picture of my opponent's team. Um, him. Focus. Get me. There we go. So now we have this, my opponent's team down, which consists of Mega Ampharos, Mandibus, Arcanine, Nian Shao, uh, Tentacruel, and Meloetta. I wonder if that's Pirouette Meloetta. That'd be interesting. Looks like his team doesn't really have anything for... Lead Crobat or Lead Rotom? I'm going to show you guys my uh, bottom screen real quick. So let's see here. Hmm. Thinking. Nice team. Finally. Ruby hits his team pretty hard. But if the wrong matchup is there. I'll lead Ruby actually. Maverick, 5 man Bubblegum, Amethyst, Azrael. So there we go. Good luck to uh, good luck to Turbo, of course, Groot, friend of mine. And uh, let's see how this goes. Um, I'm very excited about this, to be honest, because uh, Turbo's a really good battler, and he's very good at building, but he leads off with Ampharos, Fabio. So uh, I think I got a pretty good lead on him this time, leading with his own mascot, which I named Ruby. Uh, from the show Ruby, uh, very confusing that right there. I could go for a straight Dazzling Gleam because nothing has team switching to a Dazzling Gleam uh, except for his uh, tentative, well, his the two things that switch in on this thing. I could go for Sludge Bomb which denies the Arcanine, or I could just straight up go for Lair of Spikes but he still has the Mana Buzz. I'm just gonna click Sludge Bomb, I feel like that's my best play. Um, he is going to withdraw, I figured so, I figured as much. Now, I Nakato. Nakato is the Arcanine. I'm very glad I decided to go for the Sludge Bomb play over the um, over the Dazzling Gleam play. I'm just going to drop a Sludge Bomb on him right there and do a clean 45%. No poison, unfortunately. The water is cold for us today. Now, he could switch, very well switch into Tentacruel, but I can freely go into Rotom, take any one single hit, and Volt Switch out of there. So I'm going to bring back Ruby because Ruby's going to be very useful for us in this matchup uh, if we can eliminate the Tentacruel out of the game. So he's going to go straight for a Flare, uh, flare Bliss, playing very aggressively right here against us. Uh, Rotom is going to sponge that up though. And uh, now Nakato is down to about, I don't know, 45%-ish. Uh, I could predict a switch out into something. He might just stay in. We know his Intimidate, uh, but I feel like Volt Switch is my, in my best interest. So he's going to go for the E-Speed on that Arcanine right there, showing that he's not Choice Banded. I can take an E-Speed from an Arcanine, and we can Bolt Switch out of there. He shows to be more Spadef, uh, based on that. And knowing that he's more Spadef, I can very easily switch into Maverick, uh, and just drop a Brave Bird, because nothing on his team really appreciates it. I guess the switching could be Mandibuzz? Uh, Mandibuzz or... Uh, now I feel like he's just going to sack Arcanine, there's no point in keeping this thing alive. No, he does in fact decide to keep it, so he's probably going to switch into Ampharos then. No, he goes into the Manda Buzz, probably Rocky Helmet Buzz, uh, if I'm going to guess. Now, Turbo helped me build this team, so he's very aware of what this team looks like, and team composition. Uh, Rocky Helmet plus regular Recoil, um, he's probably going to U-turn. I'm going to go for a Cross Poison, trying to, bur uh, trying to poison him. And if he makes an aggressive double, 
then we're gonna gain some momentum on that. But he does not make the double, and do we get the poison though? No we do not, he goes for the toxic though, expecting us to switch out, so luckily we made that play. Uh, Turbo is playing very quickly from what I've noticed, but I'm gonna click Roost right here, just recover up in his face, see what his play is. It's probably Foul play, uh, that or Roost, so we're probably just gonna both recover this turn. Yes, Mandibuzz is also going to go for Roost. So, not only do we have Turbo on the channel, but we also have Rizzy Pow. Ah, uh, beautiful. Um, I'm thinking my play right here is to switch out into Bubblegum, because Bubblegum can force switches. Uh, I can force to switch it into one of his Psychic types and click Psyshock. Could predict it, or I could very easily just go for a Hyper Voice, because nothing on the team wants to take it. And here comes the Foul Play, which uh, we can easily take. I don't I'm kind of scared there for a moment, but it's fine. As you can see, Sylveon can very easily sponge that up, and I'm sure his, uh, I'm very sure his mana buzz is, uh, Spadef, or at least very defensive in nature. I could go for a Psy Shock here, expecting the switch out into the Tentacruel, or Mianxiao for that mat. No, not Mianxiao. Could just go for the Psy Shock right here, expecting a switch. I could go for a Wish. Uh, I'm expecting him to Toxic, so I'm gonna Hyper Voice. Yeah, there is the Toxic like I expected. He knows I'm not Heal Bell, he knows I'm Wish Protect uh, with Hyper Voice and Psy Shock. And it's gonna click a Hyper Voice right here, see how much it does. That's from a non invested Sil uh, Sylveon. But I feel like at this standpoint, from where he is, he can try to have a Roost War with me, or he can switch out into Tentacruel. And if he does, I'm still Spadef, so he has to be physical uh, to beat me. So I'm just gonna click Hyper Voice again and see uh, how that fares. I'm sorry the camera's a little bit out of focus. There we go. Thank you, camera, for working with me. I know I move around a lot. I know I look down a bit, and I'm very sorry about that. I'm going to figure out a way to be more look towards you guys than to... Why did I do it like that? To look more towards you guys than to, you know, got to focus on that screen. I could always just look at that uh, on my screen, like my uh, viewer, and then try to look up from there. Uh, that sounds like something I should probably do. Uh, so he's gonna withdraw the mana bus, trying to preserve it. I figured uh, there was no point in trying to do anything else. He's gonna sack up Nakato right here. He could be enough spadef to take a hyper voice from a non-invested Sylveon. Not that that would take too much, I'm guessing, from a fire type. This is in fact resistive, so he might very well just take this. And he does, which is very unfortunate for us. Um, Flare Blitz is going to hurt a lot. He could have Morning Sun, that is definitely an option. And if he's going to Morning Sun, which I'm expecting him to do, try to recover on me right here. I could go into Amethyst because Amethyst will sponge up anything that this thing can do. So I feel like that is my play right there. Since I also want to preserve uh, my Sylveon's HP due to the Toxic that was inflicted earlier. So I'm going to go into my Gudra right here as he goes for the E-Speed. Uh, Gudra can take that. Gudra can take that very easily. Gudra's thick. Gudra's very thick. I could just go for an EQ because nothing on his team wants to take it barring the Mandibuzz. I could go for the Power Whip. Um, no, I'm just going to click the Earthquake. There's no point in not clicking Earthquake. He's going to go for the Close Combat. I'm a bit worried about that because he has shown to be somewhat offensive variant of Arcanine. But Gudra takes that and is going to drop the Earthquake, which is very, very nice. So um, we can, uh, we can pick a bat. KO up. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now, uh, I'm expecting him to switch into something like Mian Xiao, possibly even uh, Ampharos is trying to lock me into Earthquake, or trying to lock me into... No, here comes the Mian Xiao like I expected. Uh, it is in my best interest to go into Maverick, I think. He could very well just click Stone Edge against my team right now, which is some, which is a very feasible play. But I feel like my switch in is either Sylveon or Maverick. And who I want to take more damage based on his team. I would rather Maverick fall than my um I'd rather have Maverick fall than my Sylveon. Sylveon is a lot more useful throughout his entire team, uh, when looking at it, uh, as opposed to the Sylveon. I figured he would U-turn, but in on the off chance that he did decide to go for the um, high jump kick or stone edge uh, it was just a better switch in my opinion to go into crobat now in comes Amphros and now he's going to get his mega evolution off very safely probably going to go for a dragon pulse or volt switch um, 
I could expect a Volt Switch and go for Roost, see how much it does to me uh, after losing my Flying Typing, just as a strategic way to look if he's the Rest Hawk Ampharos or if he's a uh, more offensive Ampharos. If he's Agility, he could be that. I'm just going to Cross Poison. If I lose Maverick, I lose Maverick. It's not a huge loss uh, looking at this team. Uh, I guess it would be nice to take down Mian Xiao, but I don't think I need Acrobat for the long game. At least that's just the way I look at it. Uh, I'm gonna go for the cross poison here, pray to god maybe, maybe we can get poison. We do not, he goes for the thunderbolt and that's easily gonna take us out. Maverick is not spadef or anything like that, but we can definitely force this thing out with our uh, Sylveon, because he does not want to stay in against it. I could go for hyper voice, I could go for Psy Shock. the options are definitely there. Uh, I think his man his mana bus is not very healthy, so I don't think that would be a switch in. So I feel like I just want a Psy Shock right here, expecting the Tentacle to come in. And even if he decides to stay in, then he's going to get some good damage off of him. So he's going to withdraw his Ampharos here very quickly, and he's going to switch out into the Tentacles. So we get that prediction right. And I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock right here. It's just been 10 minutes of this battle? Wow. I'm more when you realize that one of your friends play very, very fast-paced. Now he could try to pull a double here into his mandibuzz, but for that matter, if he does, he loses more than I do. So I'm just going to click Psy Shock again. I feel like it's in my best interest. Because if he sacks out the tentacle, then, well, Sylveon sweeps him, so he needs to guarantee Oko it. He goes for the Sludge Wave. We are Spadef Sylveon, so this should not do a lot. As you clearly can see by yourself, it didn't even do 50%. Is a very specially invested, mo uh, possibly modest Tentacruel, but Tentacruel is down right now, so he has nothing. He really has nothing now for Sylveon's Hyper Voice. Everything, it's either super effective, three of his mons take super effective damage from Hyper Voice, and one is resisted while well, neutral. And if it's the Pirouette form, then it's also super effective. Uh, so uh, that is definitely in our interest uh, to try to take him out right here with Sylveon. We want to preserve it. Now it is very weak unfortunately, but I also think uh, play rough from our... Now he's probably gonna... What is he gonna do? I could tr click protect, I could click wish. I'm gonna click wish, see what he does. He goes for the stone edge, stone edge is indeed very critical against our team. Sylveon is not going to take that and we can definitely see... Um, based on our play right here, we can see if he's choice scarfed or not. We can switch into... Um, Amethyst is weakened, Azrael does, uh, can scare him out, Azrael can scare him out, uh, if he's not Scarf, we can scout if he's Scarf by going into Azrael, because, um, he obviously doesn't want to take too much damage with this thing, but I'm assuming it's a Regenerator, I'm assuming it's a Regenerator Mian Show, so I'm just gonna click the Mega Evolution, I could click Sucker Punch, try to get some damage off and then hope for a miss, but I'm just gonna go for the Protect, uh, see if he's um, another item. I'm expecting him to be Choice Scarf though with the um, Stone Edge U-Turn High Jump Kick and Knock Off possibly. I think that is his set. Now he's really, uh, he's set this game up so that uh, me and Chow can win just clicking Stone Edge. He's going to withdraw just like I actually expected. Uh, he's going to go into the Mana Bus sacking that thing off uh, as I can just click play rough and kill something on his team very easily. I can get some damage off, but look at how beautiful Absol is. I swear, this thing is gorgeous. Like I said in the last one, Shiny Mega Absol is just beautiful. I'm sorry. Like, I can't resist that. So I'm just going to go for a play rough right here and just eliminate this threat, which is uh, Mandibuzz, of course. And if his Mian Chao comes in, I'm going to have to switch out and sack off something because uh, I cannot. I need Absol for the late game. So, if it comes down to him switching into uh, the Miancha right now, I'm going to protect, scout what he does, and then switch it, uh, out appropriately to his play. So, I'm just going to click protect right here, as he probably goes for the U-turn. I would expect that as to be the most obvious play, because he wants initiative, and uh, he can just get the right switch in based on what I do. So, he is going to go for the U-turn, just like I expected. And from there, I can switch into I can switch to Rotom. I'm pretty sure Rotom can take a Volt Switch, and then just get up some last chip damage before he dies. I'm gonna switch into Ready in five minutes, which will be my Rotom. I'm pretty sure I can take a Choice Scarf U-turn. I cannot. Interesting. 
I know Mian Chao is incredibly strong and it's incredibly fast, so this it could be banned, but I'm expecting it to be Scarf. So he's going to switch out right now into the Meloetta. No, he's going straight into the Ampharos. So he wants me to go into Ampharos and then make switches, or he wants me to go into Absol to make switches. I could go into Gudra right now to preserve my, um, I could go into Gudra right now and just click Outrage, because he has Meloetta left, and, uh, he has Meloetta, Mianxiao, and Ampharos, and Gudra outspeeds all of them, and I could just click Outrage to do as much damage as possible to his team. So I think that is my play, I'm just going to have Gudra go for an Outrage right here and just destroy this Ampharos right there. And look at that, oh, that is so, oh, that makes me happy inside. That makes me very happy just doing, uh, making Gudra kill something. This shouldn't make me smile as much as it do, or as much as it does, but I'm going to take a zip. So he goes into Meloetta. He definitely wants that Absol to come out. He definitely wants that Absol to come out. He could go into pirouette form right here, and if he does, I think that's also game. So he only has me and Xiao and Meloetta left. I am Assault Vested, pretty sure, so I should be able to take this. Gudra's a monster. Gudra's thick. Look at those thighs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should not be thinking about that. And Outrage is a clean KO. I am super sorry about that. Um, I'm super sorry about that turbo. A crit definitely sucks right there, but I think you can just spam Stone Edge. Well, you can't spam Stone Edge, because you only have 8 of them. And you've used one, so you only got seven left, unless you have max, of course. Uh, you can definitely high jump kick, but then you risk, of course, me going for, um... So you're gonna lock yourself into U-turn. I think it's very safe for me to switch into my, uh, Roserade right here. I'm pretty sure Roserade can take one U-turn, and then I can retaliate with a Dazzling Gleam onto you, and that should definitely take you out. I could be wrong if Ruby doesn't take a, uh, U-turn, that would definitely suck. But I feel like that's going to be the play right there if I can live a U-turn. Pretty sure I can. But this was a very fast-paced game. Uh, so I do take one like I predicted. I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. And I'm pretty sure that's going to take. Indeed it does. That does take out me and Xiao. And that was a very good game to Turbo right there. I'm just going to message him and say GG. That was a very good game right there. That was a very fast-paced. I like that game. That was very offensive, very fast. And I enjoyed it. So if you guys enjoyed that battle, make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, check out Turbo, he's an awesome guy, say a replay to him, because I'm going to record that from later, but if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe if you're new, and with that, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next video, so uh, see you guys later, peace.